Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Pivono brand. This is their PS305H, see right there. This is their DC bench power supply. 30 volts at five amps, has a four digit LED display, and it's regulated, and it uses a switching supply inside to keep the weight and the profile of this down. This is very small profile, which I really like. And you have fully adjustable voltage and current. You can do constant current mode and send the constant voltage mode with displays. Has your three terminals right here. The ground is the earth ground. Included is the plug. And that earth ground will be connected to that earth ground there. And this plugs into the back of the unit. We're going to show you that. And it also comes with a very nice quality test lead that has a rotatable uh, center part on there that put, where the conductor is. And these are soldered. I checked them, they are soldered and they're very low resistance and it's not a bad gauge to work with to allow that five amps through. Also comes with a little basic one sheet user manual, which has the specifications on there and has information how to do the constant current, constant voltage mode of the unit. Now on the back of this, here's where you're going to put your plug in there. And there is a fuse right there that you pop this out. And it has the rating on there. Just make sure you match that rating. Now there is no 110 volt to 20 volt switch on there. They, they've limited that for the US model. So you don't have to worry about that. It's already preset for 110 volts. There is the fan. And the cool thing about this is that this fan is variable speed. We're going to demonstrate that. First time I've seen that. So this fan will vary based on the requirements and the thermal requirements of this in the settings. That's unique. So the fan is exiting air that way and it's pulling in air on the sides. On the bottom you see it has rubberized feet in there. Now we're going to open this up just to look at the electronics inside there. Mainly because I like to look at the inside of electronics and look at the quality and so forth. Now this is the power switch right here. Now keep in mind that when you turn this on, the voltage is going to come out right here at the preset levels. So what you want to do is you want to adjust it ahead of time and, and then connect your devices to it. If you just go like that and it's on another setting, you could damage your device. There's also some overshoot on any power supply. So you want to have it stabilized first and then connect it to your, your load. And we're going to demonstrate that. Now this power supply has got some certifications, which you want for the power supply. It has a CE certi certi uh, Certified Health and Safety Environmental Protection Standard, which follows the guidelines of the European Economic Area. It's EMC certified, which measures the ability of equipment or systems to function satisfactorily in their electromagnetic environment without introducing intolerable electromagnetic disturbance to anything in that environment. It's also LVD certified, compliant to the European Low Voltage Directive rules. So what that's telling me is that they've got the certification for the, the RF that this produces and also the safety of the grounding and things like that. So that's good for a power supply. This is such a good value too. It's, a, it's not expensive at all. Now, um, a lot of the specs on here we're going to test. It's an 80% efficient uh, converter in here because it is a switching supply. So there's not going to be a heavy uh, analog transformer in here, which keeps the profile uh, down really small and make, keeps the weight down also. And uh, this comes with a, a one year warranty from the manufacturer. And uh, the display is four digit and the output current will go zero to five amps and the output voltage is zero to 30 volts. The display accuracy is plus or minus 0.6%. And the regulation rate is uh, shown as 0.03% plus minus uh, plus five millivolts. Load regulation is uh, less than 0.33%. Rippling noise should be a little less than five millivolts RMS. And uh, the current regulation rate is 0.1% plus one milliamp. Load regulation rate is less than 0.2% at five milliamps. And at that rate, the, at the rippling noise is five millivolts. It has a uh, short circuit protection and overload protection and over temperature protection 
internally in this device. So here I've taken the cover off so we can take a look at the inside. Now here is where the power goes in and that lead there is the ground and you can see that that lead does go to the case itself, the metal of the case and that's what you want for shielding and again the fuse is there you, this pops back and you can change that fuse right there I noticed some other reviewers were saying there's no fuse they weren't understanding that the fuse is on the outside which makes sense so that you don't have to open the unit up to change the fuse now looking along over here it looks really nice you can see it's a switching supply so it's using transformers to multiply the voltage and the, cur the current there's no heavy transformer in here and then you can see it has heat sinks right there for the power output section that is doing the uh, the regulation uh, the front end electronics is right here where it's taking the 115 volts converting it and the processing electronics is over there there are some adjustable uh, potentiometers looks like 20 turns right there and that's probably for fine-tune adjustment at the factory when they manufacture this there's the power switch so overall it's a very nice quality very lightweight and you can see right here on the output there are some filter capacitors and they do mention that in the listing and that's nice so that is providing the filtration of the final output on those terminals terminals right there so that's really nice so th this is very high quality I'm really impressed with this and the fan that you see in the back there's the fan right there and there's where it plugs in and they have some glue on there so it can't move and that's a variable speed fan that I demonstrated very nice so here I am in my uh, basement research lab and I've got a lot of test equipment here other power supplies to the right you can see right there and signal generators and oscilloscope now the first thing I'm going to do is just a basic test right here I've got two multimeters so we can get kind of an average and I've just got the included leads going to both of them so this is saying 22.55 22.59 and the display is 22.59 on the Pavino, the PS305H. So that's good, it's matching. And let's go as high as it'll go. Now, as soon as I did that, this fan kicked on. And I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it. It's so quiet. Probably can't even hear it, but it's just low noise fan, really nice. So it kicked down because I increased the voltage. So you see 31.77 is matching there, 31.7 there. So it's right on the money. So that's the simple test we're going to do. Now the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to put a load on here. I'm going to lower this voltage down. And I'm going to turn the current up on both the fine and coarse. And let's start off with a nice low voltage. You see it's very low right there. It's just 1.3 volts. I have a resistive load right here on a heat sink. It's about 6.7 ohms. So we're going to connect that up next. Okay, so I still have the multimeter here as a reference. And the power supply is connected still to that under no load. So I'm just going to increase the voltage right here to about 5 volts and I'm going to put the load on there. And I hear the fan kick in. Now the load is across the output right there. And you can see it's displaying the current 0.807 at 5.21 volts. Voltage is still correct. Now I'm going to kick the voltage up some point the constant current is going to kick in because it's going to reach the maximum. Now it's 14.59 volts, 2.2 amps. This turned off, let's turn it back on. And now let's increase it. 23.5 volts, 3.6 amps. If I go all the way to the right, 31.68 and 4.9 amps. 
Um, the current the constant current did not come on. We're going to show how to do that. I, I misspoke. So there you go. 31.68, 4.89. So we're at the max right there. And again, let's listen to the fan. And that's the max that's going to go. Now this is heating up quite nicely right now because I'm sending it to it uh, 31 times 5. So that's a lot of power going to it right now. It's heating up. Uh, so this test it shows that it handles that load and it's still regulating it and if I disconnect this right here Look what happens it goes down to zero the current and the voltage stays the same So that's really good. That's showing me that it's transient response to this load is very very fast So it has minimal overshoot and again you want to adjust your voltage and then apply power with the leads because there's always going to be a little bit of over voltage a little transient when you first turn it on now I'll be interested to see what the ripple is at this uh, uh, power level we'll measure that next so I'm still at 31.68 volt at 4.8 amps voltmeter there is acknowledging that now I'm looking at my oscilloscope right here and I'm on 20 millivolts each one of those divisions and you can see as I'm touching I'm touching the output lead on and off right there that there's basically nothing there it's just a very very small amount of ripple if I go to 5 millivolts 2 millivolts so right there I'm touching and I'm getting basically no noise whatsoever and that's at the full load of this power supply that's really good so let's demonstrate constant current mode on this Pavono PS305H. You're always in constant voltage mode because you can always change the voltage and it will regulate that and be in constant voltage mode. What about constant current mode? Let's say you have a load or a device, a light bulb or a test circuit that you want to have a fixed amount of current there. You never want it to exceed one amp of current. So what we're going to do is we're going to short the lead out right here and we're going to adjust the current and the voltage till I get to one amp on the display. And you could use the, you can get that really close by using the fine adjustment. So there's one amp. Now I'm going to turn the power supply off and we're going to undo the leads turn it back on and now I'm going to put this load back on here that is about 6.7 ohms and now you see that if I increase the current or if I increase the voltage it doesn't go beyond one amp because it's in constant current mode so that way it's protecting this device this resistor and not setting that preset value that I just showed you how to preset so I can turn the voltage all day long it won't do anything now if you adjust the current it will allow you to go to another value so there's 1.6 amps and now it'll keep that regardless of the voltage so that's what constant current does it's a very safe way to test a device a resistor a light bulb and you could set that really low too to protect the device and so that's how that works very very nice very efficient and this power supply does it quite nicely so what's my overall opinion about the Pivino P PS305H DC bench power supply 30 volts at 5 amps I like this power supply I love the small profile of this the light weight of this and it did a great job regulating as I demonstrated. Has a good output, a very low ripple. Everything about it uh, says it's a great power supply. I like the display, it's bright, the controls work, everything worked on it just fine. And this is a great value at the price they're selling it on Amazon. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.